Hey, this is Rick with Scottsdale Urban Farms, and uh, we just got done unboxing uh, a new salad mix, spicy salad mix, and this came from uh, True Leaf, and uh, we're really, really, really uh, excited about this, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be um, a great a great mix for us. I've been creating and doing my own. Uh, but we're going to actually have a real mix that we can, uh, it, it comes, I already opened it up. It already comes uh, all ready to go, and uh, it's already got a mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this remaining soil here. If you remember from previous videos, it's two big palm handfuls per tray, and uh, we'll smooth them out. We'll measure the seed, and we'll uh, water it, and we'll get it uh, under weight uh, in the uh, dark room. And we're going to uh, be planting the uh, the new um, uh, the new mix, and uh, we're going to scale that for 10 subscribers, uh, the initial run, and then it'll scale up to uh, you know 20, 50 subscribers uh, for the uh, for the for the locally grown stuff. But here's what we're excited about too. Uh, this week, these are all from seed, all from seed. And we have another uh, tray, 1020 tray, filled with them as well. But these are all going to be being transplanted into pots this size uh, that we will give them their next home. And I'm going to make up another batch of cocoa coir. Uh, we're going to put some... Um, some real res regular soil that we've been uh, growing and making through our compost and through uh, worm castings. Uh, we'll dig up some worms. We'll add, uh, you know, a worm to each pot. And, uh, you know, just, just get, let these tomatoes get a really, really good start uh, as they uh, transplant from this little pod into this size. And then uh, in, in the next three weeks, four weeks, we'll get them out and we'll expose them to their new permanent home. Uh, we've got a 24 by 12 tomato garden that uh, we're going to be uh, doing. So each of these will have uh, an area of opportunity to really, really thrive. And uh, we'll see how many pounds per plant that we get. Uh, you can't really see, but if you look in there, every one of those tags that are in red, 